Welcome to the course predicting sports outcomes. My name is Telios and I'm going to be your tutor for this course. I have more than five years of experience in data science and most of my work has been in the area of sports analytics, including predictive modeling of football injuries, but also predicting sports outcomes, which is the subject of Predicting sports outcomes is a popular activity and is something that many people are doing for fun. There are many betting sites out there. In the last few years, the various betting exchanges have also risen in popularity, places such as Betfair or Smarkets. There's obviously monetary motivation behind sports betting, but in the case of this course, it's also an amazing learning exercise. Learning how to predict sports outcomes requires very good skills in coding, data wrangling, as well as machine learning and statistics. So, let's talk about what this course is and is about. This course is not a get-rich-quick lexicon. So, predicting the sports outcomes is possible, it's entirely feasible, but it's not easy. You need to have solid knowledge of machine learning and coding and data wrangling, as I mentioned early on. You need also need to have domain knowledge of the problem. Uh, you need to, it, it's really helpful if you know your, your the sport betting in particularly well. And also quite often, you're going to need quality data, which might not be, be freely available. However, what this course is about, is about getting these solid skills, which can actually help you understand how to build the pipelines which can predict sports outcomes. So you can actually do it professionally if you wish to either working for a company that does this professionally or on your own if you're actually willing to spend the time and the money doing that. So regarding the prerequisites, it's very helpful if you already have some knowledge in Python. Uh, however, if that's not the case, uh, we're going to teach some of the basic principles. And uh, also, it's always possible if uh, you decide you want to do this more seriously. Uh, after the course, it's always possible to partner up with a software developer. Uh, also, some familiarity with machine learning or statistics would be greatly helpful. Once again, we're going to discuss some of the basics and this course is going to uh, teach you how, how, the, how some of algorithms work, what's the basic principles behind predictive modeling, etc. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, it's really helpful if you've already done some work in this area. This is an outline of the course. The course is composed of nine lectures, including the introduction. First, we're going to talk about predicting tennis in general, why we chose this sport and uh, how we're going to go about completing this task. Then we're going to discuss about building up a web crawler to get the data we need. Then we're going to talk about merging this data with one more data source, that is of the a data source that includes the odds on various games. Then we're going to go through a tutorial on model testing and metrics. After that, we're going to use um, the things we learned in order to analyze the data. And after we review the analysis and discuss it, we're going to move to some other topics such as uh, the advanced topics and uh, the team uh, and the discussion on team sports and how they differ to individual sports for predictive purposes. And finally, we're going to close with a summary of the whole course.